أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of God, the beneficent, the merciful. God Almighty has stated in the Holy Quran, there is no compulsion in religions. There is no compulsion in Islam. Verily, the religion with God is Islam, and there is no compulsion in Islam. During the 23 years of his mission, of, of his prophetic mission, the Holy Prophet of Islam, either during the 13 years he was in Mecca, or the 10 years after that when His Holiness was in Holy Medina at the time when His Holiness was the leader of the government and tens of wars were imposed by the policies against Muslims. During all that time, the Holy Prophet never imposed Islam on anyone. Even though there were hundreds and tens and tens and hundreds and thousands of people, hypocrites, who actually mocked the Holy Prophet or insulted His Holiness in Holy Medina and in Holy Mecca. Nonetheless, we can find no one in history that is forced into the religion of Islam by the Holy Prophet. There is no compulsion in religion. This is a principle in Islam. And it is very exceptional in history. And this is what all other messengers and holy prophets did, as they did never impose their religion and faith on anyone either those prophets who actually were leaders of the government, like Prophet Solomon, or those other prophets. Some people put their faith in the Holy Prophet of Islam and they became Muslims either in Holy Mecca or in Holy Medina. Later on, those people, due to the pressure by their relatives or the economic sanctions, or because of their ambitions to get power and money, they abandoned the faith of Islam and they returned to apostasy. The Holy Prophet never imposed any of those people back into Islam, despite the fact that His Holiness had the power. The absence of compulsion in religion is a very basic principle of Islam. There are many countries today that are actually boasting of their so-called freedoms in Western communities. But if you just look at it fairly, you will understand that the true meaning of freedom can only be found in Islam. Tens of wars were imposed on the Holy Prophet of Islam, and His Holiness was always 
the victorious side, in none of those wars, the Holy Prophet was never the starter of the conflict. Even though the Holy Prophet had the power to crush his enemies, but he never started the wars. There are many people in the history of Islam who actually abandoned the face of Islam and returned to apostatism. The Prophet knew that Islam is the path towards salvation and prosperity. But since Almighty God did not intend for the people to accept Islam by force, his Holiness never imposed anyone into the faith of Islam. The only way to present Islam to people is to introduce this holy faith completely to people so that on the judgment day these non-believers would have no excuse in one of the many examples in the history of the Holy Prophet, when the Prophet was in Holy Medina, some people from Holy Medina became Muslims. They are called the Ansars or the Helpers. And those Muslims in the Holy Mecca they are called the emigrants because they emigrated with the Holy Prophet to Holy Medina. And a few years after the migration, many people became Muslims in Medina. One of them is Abu Hussein. He had two young sons. It is said in history that a business caravan was coming from Damascus. They were Christians. When they arrived in Holy Medina, the two sons of Abu Hussein, they were approached by these Christians and they actually converted to Christianity. The father was very upset. So he came to the Holy Prophet and said, those Christian tradesmen have converted my sons into Christianity and I cannot do anything. He asked the Prophet to sent some people after those two sons to bring them back into the faith of Islam. But the Holy Prophet refused that. The great Allama Majlisi has said, This holy verse of Quran was descended and revealed to the Holy Prophet on this occasion. So when this man came to the Holy Prophet, God Almighty revealed this verse of Holy Quran to the Holy Prophet that, that there is no compulsion in religion. These four words, they represent the heart and the core of freedom. If the young believers, either in Muslim or non-Muslim countries, if, if they reflect on these four words in the Holy Quran, they can work on it and study it and then preach it to the entire world. The Holy Quran always emphasizes on clear representation of the religion. There is no historical proof that the Holy Prophet ever forced anyone into the faith of Islam, despite the fact that His Holiness had full power and authority. 
none of the non-believers was ever forced into Islam, and none of those Muslims who abandoned the faith of Islam was forced back into the faith of Islam. It is a very important issue, especially in our today's world. We can use the state-of-the-art technologies like the TV satellites, the social media platforms, and it is our responsibility to unfold these realities to the entire world. All men and women are bound by this duty. There is no compulsion in the holy faith of Islam. I hope that Almighty God helps the enlightened Muslims and the young believers to represent these four words in the Holy Quran and guide the millions and thousands of people around the world to this holy faith. May God bless Muhammad and his pure household.